Righteous Roots Drink works for menstrual cramps and pain, migraines, fatigue, stress and tiredness, sinusitis, pills, immune defense, bloating, enhances male bedroom prowess, and Richus Sorrel Roots Drink works against all types of cancers and tumors, memory loss, high cholesterol, insomnia, nervous issues, flu, and many other illnesses. For your Richus Roots Drink and Richus Sorrel Roots Drink. Contact us now via WhatsApp at 876-528-9534. Richest Roots Drink and Richest Sorrel Roots Drink. Richest, a true Jamaican experience. Your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that. So, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Coach's Desk, people. It's your boy, Dre here from Dre Anywhere Sports tonight. So, thanks, everybody, for joining us. Just the one favor on us. Hit the like button and share the like. Quick and fast, people. Hit the like button and share the like for me, please. Let them know if they haven't received the... Notification yet? Tell him say Coach's Desk is live over here and Dre hosting Coach's Desk. We got special guest tonight. Special guest tonight. Surprise guest appearance tonight. So make sure you know, hurry up and hit the like button and send out the live so we can get them on the show as soon as possible. Quick and fast. So while that's going on, we're looking at some results in the JPL over the weekend so far. So this is round fifth right now, round five, in the JPL season, fresh start to the season, round five. There are some teams who be, who has been consistent. And we have some who probably some may say got brought down back to earth this weekend. But before we get to them topics there, just quick and fast, hit the like and share the live. Share the live in the group chat. The family member then knows that Coach's Desk over here. And Dre hosting Coach's Desk tonight. Coach under the weather. You no, know, we just wish him a fast, speedy recovery. Not feeling too well, but it'll be better. He'll be back tomorrow morning. And while we on that topic, just prayers and blessings, God, the cataract. Him himself not so well right now. So I'll give out to the prayers and blessings to Catar from the people. And thanks for joining. Hit the like button as soon as we come over. We have some topics we want to get into. So just hit the like button quick and fast so we can get them started. People in America, I'm know so I'm watching the Super Bowl right now. But half time. Game was hot. Last time I see it, Odell got injured, went down and got carted off that game. But football discussion tonight. We have the reggae girls joining up, meeting up with the rest of the teams. Special guest appearance tonight on the show. So make sure to click the like button. And who joining for the first time and not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Share the live. Make the family member them, cousin them, friend them, no set. Have a discussion over here about football and ready to educate them on the happenings and the latest that's going on in and around the reggae boys and the reggae girls football team. Quick and fast, hit the like button. That's the entry fee. Just hit the like button, but it's not costing anything. It's free, so that's hit the like button. And hit that share button and share the like. And spread the words. The coach is just started now. 
a special appearance tonight, special, special guest in the building. Trust me, we now go on, Mr. One here. Or JPL. The man, as the comments them come in, I'm going to take a look at them. As soon as them come in, just I'm going to click them up on the screen. Yeah, enough respect. Jobless. Big up yourself. Thanks for joining. Blessing. Pebo Iris. Big up yourself. Big up again. Javon. Thanks for joining. Yankney Graham. Yankney Graham. Bless up. Thanks for joining. The coach is this. Fresh got it done now. Moderate the thing. Big up yourself, Jason, of course, in the building. Owen, Owen, bless up, man. Yeah, man, we're there, yeah, man. I have to hold it down for coach, you know. The work has to continue. Bless up yourself, Owen, Owen. Everybody will join us. Share the live quick and fast. Remember, the entry fee is to click that like button. Special guest tonight. Reggae boys in action over the weekend. One touch on them players that are current reggae boys, future reggae boys. Players interested. Yeah. A ball at the on the island. Yeah. Wicked, wicked ball at the on the island. Big up on yourself, like I said. Click like button. And share the live, people. Remember, I said, dance the ram and now get one tequila to touch the stage. When you now get keep it time to touch the stage. When you get the early juggling them, so on them, but big son now go play unless the dance ram certain way. So get the likes up, get the numbers up quick and fast, get it climbing fast. Comments them come in more to them and response to them. People big up on yourself and get the word out. Coaches this is live. Joy over here hosting it tonight. Same way we did with the watch along with the Costa Rica. Big up on yourself. Everybody will join early. Coaches this is live. Prayer squad for Inter. Yeah, that's a defender, right? 19 year old. Big baller. Nineteen. Um, it would be in the senior team because he can't play for the under twenty. I'll do at nineteen. Jamaica L O L. Thanks for joining, man. Big up yourself. Share the live as soon as you come in. Hit the like button. Share the live. Special guest appearance tonight. Not from only me, but. <laughs> We have a very, very special guest in the building tonight, man. So to share the light so we can get the dance full so that the guests can appear and bust the place early. Yeah, Javan. Yeah, man. Baller, top, top baller. I'm going to say top, top baller all the time, you know. The man that come to Jamaica midfield, you know. Jamaica midfield look totally different, you know. The man that general. The man that could have Barclay. If Barclay go up on loan, the man that would have been a Chelsea season, a player. They wouldn't need to um, sign Saul for on loan. Barclay salary, you know, different things. Lampard, dig a hole and chill management tonight and left Barclay with a big salary there. Nobody no want him. Villa agreement the half of the salary year before but you know they call big baller man it's about time to make a permanent move away i'm glad him signed a three year three and a half so with that said next person robert smith yeah man thanks for joining up move coaches this blessed up cataract yeah man speedy recovery i pray for him man pray for the general big up robert smith grimy a day early yeah man 
big up yourself, people. Check out Grimy Family Production um, on IG. Just give my strength there for me. Always consistently there on the coach's desk and for Dre anywhere that sports too. Yeah, man. Big him up, man. Have it support the reggae boys and reggae girls. Jamaica football as a whole. Yeah, man. Big up all the people them who take time out out of them busy day. Super Bowl and go on, I know that. So the people them in America. Maybe I could be hesitant, but game so leaves uh, LA and pull away. That's my pick. But I don't know it right now. That's before the game start. LA may expect to pull away and blow blow them out with the second half. But um Odell Beckham Jr. went down with that injury and get caught it up. So not looking good. Even if he come back out there, not gonna be healthy. Yeah, man, Grammy. Respect, man. Respect. Uh, yeah, man, I swear, be <laughs> time to say go check him out on IG, man. On the same reggae girl, man. The favorite reggae girl. Yeah, man. Well, big up on yourself, man. Thanks for joining. Thanks for taking the time out on a busy day. The giant coach is just over here. Dre over here was in the show tonight. Dre, anywhere that sports. As soon as you come in, click the like and hit the share button and drop it in your WhatsApp story or status so that people can click on it and come see what I'm going over here. Come and say special, special guest appearance tonight on the show. No one miss it. Reggae boys fans, reggae girls fans, football fans, music fans. Yeah, man. Check, check, check in. Check in early and get the numbers them up. Cause like me I said, special guest is like a sound system when I play early. It's like a DJ or entertainer who when I perform early. So me I said, <laughs> special guest appearance tonight. Big up on yourself. Click the like button and share the like. Tell them football talk are going over here. Reggae boys, reggae girls, Jamaican Premier League, English Premier League, little MLS talk are going. Because the ball are going good in the preseason today. Yeah, man, enough things are going. And of course, how oh, can I forget? The world is blue. Yeah, man. Ian Campbell. Bless up yourself, Ian. Thanks for joining. Some baller out there interested in the Ian. And we see some baller touch a field. Today, you know, we see a particular baller where we know for a long time, man. Try to get in contact with when them baller if them baller they touch Jamaica midfield enough. A dirt to the rest of Kanka Cuff. Fearless, big top notch. And the missing piece that na Jamaica midfield. Think Stuart was no nah, man. Stuart is just part of the puzzle. But the key for like the city. Yeah, man. Fresh God, no flog for the reggae girls. Yeah, no flog for the reggae girls, man. Then the must, man. I feel them time now, you know. No clan stun it. Big up yourself. Thanks for joining the Duke clan. Bless up. Rick is out, out for us to move forward. Mark Chambers. <laughs> Easy you now. Thanks for joining. Click the like button. Make sure you share the live. Share the live quick and fast, people. Get the likes up. Get numbers climbing quick and fast. What is the topic for touch on? What is the topic? Tonight's show hosted by me, Dre from Dre Anywhere That Sports. Here on the coach's desk. 
new video dropping right after the show though. it's called the world is blue <laughs> yo london was blue europe became blue and then yesterday the world is blue yeah man they know who we are they know who we are champions of europe they know who we are you two in the cup right now champions of the world world is blue people world is not red it's blue remember that yeah man the reggae boy them have banged the net to the man future reggae boy current reggae boy can't say past reggae boy still because if a reggae boy were haven't played for the country over six months can't really call him a past reggae boy fabian full world is yes because of the ocean <laughs> level no man cool no man What's the video program? Let me see if you can see the comments. So I want to say, if a ball away ever played for Jamaica for over six months, call him a pass, reggae boy. I'll just an upset reggae boy. Say absentee. The Sibala abandoned it, man. And then we say a ball when I play. Where is it? Serbia. See a year now. See man the on fire. Bang bang. Bang in the net again. Kevin, yeah, man, the end of the building, the champion reach our foot yet. Yeah? I said two keys the pass send down two keys for the Chelsea fans, them you know. The real Chelsea fans, them the real, real one, them. Yeah, man. Man like Kevin. Chevan still and celebrate, probably. And Mr. Porter. Support I uh, make some connection and some links, yeah man. Big up Mr. Porter, you know, Devon Porter. Big up yourself. Anyway, you're there. Yeah, man. Big up all the time. Uncle Devon. MPEG, still a celebrate. Can't see the man since we win the trophy star. Whoa, all is well. I never celebrate too much. But yeah, enough topic for touch. Special guest appearance tonight on the show. Special, special guest appearance. Guest appearance for the fans. Guest appearance for the dance. Guest appearance for the eyes. Guest appearance for the ears. <laughs> top, top appearance tonight on the show. Remember, the share the life. Uh, them guess I don't need the introduction, but introduction I gonna run. And I'll be a fire gonna run at the comment section. The back in our show tonight, be a fire. Prime it. Just hold it steady. People, no, no football news are going, man. EPL hot right now. Course, guess who returned to action today? Come on in the 70 the 78th minute. Return to the English Premier League for the first time in like a month. Chelsea man still a celebrating with the plastic cup. Red man, see, pick up yourself. 
quick and fast in and out drop a comment down boo pick up yourself and thanks for joining the desk Dre, Dre, any weather sports tonight posted this is some prayers for cataract want to see some prayer emoji go for cataract still on the end of the day Rawr. One YouTube family, one Jamaica wants to the better for Jamaica football and the youth there. So, although people may disagree with what we say on the platform, we just still want to see in, in a different perspective how we get there at the, 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 the end of the line, the finish line. We just want to be a successful Jamaican team out there winning games and hopefully winning trophies. So I just want to see some prayer emoji go up for cataract. Prayer emoji in the comment section. Let's pray our hands. You know the anthem must stay so put up enough of them and the people. Big up on yourself. Same will be done for you. Prayer emoji, people. Prayer emoji. Hit the like button. Share the like. Tell them coaches this is live. Guess appearance on the show tonight. Epic. Two are going one up tonight. Between fire and hearts. Two are going mad tonight. Yeah, man. People. Prayer emoji, you know. Prayer emoji goes off with cataract, you know. Want him to have a safe and speedy recovery. Coach not feeling so well, too. So, more so put some prayers for CD also. Prayer hands them. Now, the comment section for CD. Prayer hands them people. Pull up the comment section. Be a prayer hands more answer. So football topic to discuss tonight. I do American football and go on. We have our own football world. Communicate back to the people them and educate the people them on the latest and what's going on all over the world. Not only Chelsea winning trophy, but there's other news out there concerning our reggae boys. Current reggae boy, future reggae boy, future eligible reggae boy, potential reggae boys, youth players, former youth players. Jamaican Premier League, JPL, English Premier League. MLS, MLS preseason, I should say. But uh, MLS season not, not, not in swing right now. Not start yet. So MLS preseason. Yeah, man, enough going on out there. Reggae boy making return to the to the English Premier League action. We have a uh, reggae boy get man of the match yesterday in the English Premier League. No fuck one people. So as soon as we come in now, beg enough favor just hit that like button there and share the live. And whoever are watching from Facebook, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to Coach's Desk. And then take a second to also subscribe to Joy Anywhere That Sports. Big up on yourself, people. Thanks for joining. Thanks for taking the time out of your day and your evening to spend some time with us over here and discuss football. Jamaican football, reggae girls football, English Premier League football, MLS football. Slovenia football, Belgian football, Russian football.
but who are baller all over the world, man. Vietnamese football, big up all of the baller them. El Salvadorian football. <laughs> yeah, man, ball of them spread all over the world, man. Big up all of the ball of them everywhere them there. I represent the country. I met the country proud. Get the eyes on the nation. Big up all the reggae girls who currently on the flight to, to join up within Jamaica to start training camp with the rest of the team. I link up on that. Tuesday. Hopefully none Wednesday, but I heard there probably be some flying in Wednesday, but it's a different day. Watch Thursday, 17th versus Bermuda. Pick up Bermuda and then fly out. So people asking about missing reggae girls out of the squad. Especially the UK and new faces them that played against Costa Rica in the United States in that friendly. I can answer that for you guys. But before that, we need to get the likes up. Quick and fast, people. Get the likes up. Up, up, up. Get the likes up, people. Share the light. Share the live and get the likes up. Special guest appearance tonight, people. Before we get to that, need to for that share the live, get the likes up, pick and fast, get it to a hundred. Forty-eight people watching. How many likes? Where we at? Sixty-five likes. Keep getting the likes up, people. Big up everybody who drop a prayer emoji in the comments. Blessings coming in from Kevin, Brooklyn, New York. Big up yourself. Giovanni, big up again. Nikisha Ferguson, thanks for being one of the loyalists them. Beautiful Empress. She said, up, up, the blues. That's the queen right there. Jason, Owen, Yemen, prayer emoji, Giovanni. Prayer emoji, speedy recovery, cataract. Ralston. So what happened to cataract? Cataract under the weather, man. Ill right now in the hospital. It need the prayers. Robert Smith said, Member of Liverpool are the real deal. One general said that. Big up, Robert. Cheer the life, people. Get the numbers up. Get the numbers up. Cheer the life. Hit the like button. Kirk Williams, yeah, man. So the Chelsea logo there. Big up yourself. West Ham fans keep crucifying Antonio for not scoring consistently. They want him to. But he, he's contributing in different ways, though. Causing, bullying, causing um, players to get open up spaces for other players because of his offensive threat. Stephen Murphy, big up yourself. Thanks for the prayers there. Yeah, man, Owen, Owen. Ball I get man of the match yesterday. Lock the defense. I look at our sunset, our sunset, we like the city. Yeah, man. 
that, that playing a Rupert Ed yesterday when him a lock shot. No prayers from Sunflower. Robert Smith, speedy recovery, cataract, and Minzy. Your man, Kevin, definitely see that for real. It's something to, to discuss. Your man, Rupert, man of the match. People get the numbers up, get the likes going. Let's get to 100. Some JPL scores coming in. Yesterday, the leaders of the JPL got knocked. I could say, some people would say them get punched in the gut. Get a gut punch yesterday. By two goals to nil from Mullines. Two goals to nil. Mullines knock water off. Fire us. Mullines put out them fire yesterday. No longer tap the JPL tables. Two goals to nil. That's one score so far. Get the likes up, people. Get numbers going up. Owen, Owen. Stephanie and Owen, Owen, have a conversation. Mr. Special Edition, bring up yourself. You know. Thanks for joining Mr. Special Edition said, prayers up. Cataract and CD. Fresh God, Owen, Owen and Giovanni. Top of Michael Antonio. Fresh God, 17. It's me alone, see it, bro. Them now nah, play a truth in, true in. No more. God bless if him get the ball. Special edition. Poor sick to Yeah, man. Coach under the weather, man. Hold it down for the coaches this tonight. Get the light, but get the lights of people. Special guests on the show tonight. Maybe as a result, uh, repost. Repping Jamaica when they didn't want him to. Warren Webster, yeah man, big up yourself. Thanks for joining. Thanks for taking time out of your day and joining us here on the coach's desk, you know. Um, Warren Webster said, good to see that all the past reggae girls get free admission. They should do that for the men's. Free admission. <laughs> Lifetime free admission, that's going to be a tough one. For the JFL still knowing them. Dapper Agent, big up yourself. Thanks for joining. Dapper Agent said, Prayers going out to Katara. Yeah, man. Thanks, Dapper. We pass on the message, man. I'm watching him. I'm watching him. He know what I'm going. He hear what I'm going. Big up on yourself, man. And thanks for all the prayers and blessings. He might hear me. Mr. Special Edition. Yeah, yeah, I watch the Super Bowl halftime too. <laughs> we just it. Just on a real fun enough. Big up on yourself, man. And thanks, man. Appreciate it, man. From the coaches, this and all the YouTube fraternity, man. Now, because now I watch one program on the cut off football um, on the local YouTube community to the world. You know, still tune in. Big up yourself, you know, Mr. Special Edition. Owen, Owen, Giovanni said, Miss, um, Owen, Owen, maybe they want to ensure Bowen becomes an Anglo international, not the wireless theory. Though. Yeah, of alternatives. Bless up, bless up. That's an agent for the coach. Giovanni, continue the conversation with Owen, Owen. Giovanni, well, that has been the talk recently. Owen, Owen saying, Stacy and here consultant, big up yourself. You know. Um, give us some prayer emoji for cataract as I recover right now from illness, not doing so good. Need on the prayers. Talk to him today. 
Make sure to give some prayer emoji as soon as it'll come in. Hit the like button, share the live, drop a prayer emoji there for cataract. Stacy and thanks for joining. Thanks for taking time out there, busy day and joining us over here on Coach's desk. Dre holding the holding it down tonight for the coach. Coach also on the, under the weather right now, not feeling good. Speedy recovery for both, you know. But the work must go on. People need to be educated and entertained. Like I said, special guests tonight on the coach's desk. Enough going on in the football world. Thanks for joining. Thanks for taking time out on a busy day. And thanks for staying loyal to the coach's desk. A loyal supporters, them. Yeah, man. And check in early. Check, 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 checking in. Yeah, man. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by, you know. So, JPL, some scores over the last two days. Still got another day to go tomorrow. Waterhouse went into the weekend as leaders of the JPL. They got knocked off that throne by Mullins United by a scoreline of two goals to nil. It was a, a beauty of a strike from a Waterhouse player. Not, not from a Waterhouse, from a Mullins player, of course, because they win two goals to nil. From about 40 yards out. And I, I can't see nowhere the goalkeeper could have saved that because that that dropped right into the pigeon hole, as then we call it. So it's a beauty of a strike, man. And it wasn't a cross which turned into a a, a shot and goal because of the wind, of the trajectory of the wind. It just it was a shot and goal. You could have seen it. Too. Beautiful strike, very intelligent strike by that player too. I forgot what his name, but he's the captain of Mullines. It was a nice try. That's the best goal of the weekend so far. Uh, Portmore United and Humble Lions. They draw 1-1 yesterday too. Humble Lions and Portmore United. Portmore was a consistent club over the years. But this year, I guess they must be rebuilding. I know a coach was going to have a um, head coach on the show tonight to talk about um, the performance of the team and uh, what what they're looking forward to doing and accomplishing for the season. But coach is under the weather. So I take over the show and I bring with me a very, very special guest tonight here on the coach's desk. People get the live up, no man, get the numbers up, no man. People, when you come on, stop playing with the like and stop playing with the live. Share the live. As soon as they come in, like, share. Just like a combination, like and share. Just drop it now, now, group chat. Some on WhatsApp got more contacts than what? Is on the chat right now. Or how oh, much the likes reach right now? Fresh got what the likes reach. Got them up play with the live, you know. They say and feed the recovery for court. Yeah, man. Pray up a cataract. Yeah. I'm gonna watch the show, man. Yeah, man. Kevin. It's option, but I would. Leave it to the player, whatever he decides with me. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, and Kevin and Giovanni. All of them have a conversation. Warren Webster, let's keep the movement. Uh, one Jamaica, yeah, man, one Jamaica, come on, we go. Vibing for vibing to Liverpool logo, vibing, say, wishing and hoping for a full recovery cataract. Fresh got 84 likes. 
get the light up, get the likes up quick and fast, people. Speedy recovery for Cataract and Coach. Doreen Brown, big up yourself, man. I'm watching, man. I must say, man. I hear the comments, man. Even if I'm not see it, my ear comments them are coming. And the prayers them are coming. Clinical, big up yourself, checking in. Open the best for Catara. Catara, yeah, man. Understand, man. My ear will go on. So, people. Molines, where the player name was scored a goal left from about 40 yards out, man. People that will watch JPL, Captain of Molines. Need to get him on the show and ask him, when did I think when him, when when the when the strike they leave him foot? That's a walk for a miracle him aim for the top corner. What do you think? Him aim or just luck? Because it's a brilliant goal that you know. Robert Smith said, Coach Minzi and Cataract, both of you are blessed. So the blessings of, of love are you both from the one general, Robert Smith. Yeah, man, big up, man. See there? Cataract, they in the building, man. Him. See what I go on, man. Him. They are people. You'll say my year, man. No love and prayers that come to the Cataract. Catarax hashtag no quota hashtag burnout xenophobia hashtag <laughs> apart ID yeah man Everton Jackson wishing Catarax a speedy and complete recovery coach feel better soon yeah man see the Catarax Everton Jackson do. I be a love, you know, man. Be a love. Be a play, prayers and blessings are coming. Giovanni said, <laughs> You'd have to be you in the stuff. Pick up yourself, Giovanni. Coach under the weather. Yeah, man. Coach under the weather, man. But something else. <laughs> oh, you need to a cataract. Hashtag Team Cataract. But don't but not out. Big up every old child. Hashtag Section 115. Hashtag Offline Crew. Yeah, man. Up our land of the place there. Remember, man. Memorable. Never forget. Speedy Recovery Coach from Vibing. I see that Katara comment there again, man. Team Katara, but done, but not out. Yeah, man. People, Warren Webster, you're competing with the Super Bowl, but the real football take priority. We miss out in participating in our Super Bowl, which is the World Cup. True. Well said, Warren Webster, but thanks for joining the real football, the, 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 the we call it loyalists them in the building, man. Yeah, man. Big up on yourself and thanks for joining, you know. Coach now feel too well. Cataract set. Down by the heart. Big up every old chap. Team Cataract. Section 115. Half time crew. Yeah, man. Big up everybody. Thanks for taking time out. Competing with this American sport, aka. The knockoff football. <laughs> Talk about the real football. JPL. So people, the striker was like the one that strike the for, for more lines. Right, so the special guest that asks where the link I drop. People, people, are you ready? People not ready yet, man. I'm not 100, Mr. Man. I'm on the people in the building. Come on, man. Share the live, man. Share the live, people. Share up the live.
of a good side and of a bad side. Of the side. Yeah, guess come on and see that space of the whole time. Man. Darkness show. Because the show is a little global. People, stop playing with the thing. Come on. JPL. More lines. Knock water us after after pinnacle of the tier at the standings by two goals to nil. Beautiful strike from the Mullines captain. We and Evans, thanks for joining. Special guest tonight on the show. Ask for the link already. Red Mark say, man say, can't watch NFL. Stop watch it once my cowboys get knocked out, man. Done with it. Till next season, pick it up again. Until the NBA and look like Lakers. Because I got to play them best. Them best of the season for squeezing at this playoffs. Because last night I watched a wicked, wicked Golden State team. I look like the Golden State of all. Boy, Clay Thompson and knock trees with them eyes closed. Big up everybody for just joining. PMU 1, Umber Lion 1. That's another score from yesterday. Portmore United, that is. Mount Pleasant 1, Dumbe All in 1. It's another score from yesterday. Cavs 1, Harborview 1 0 to Cavaliers. Cavs, Cavaliers 1, Harborview zero another late goal 10 minutes left in the game defense all it together above you squandered numerous numerous scoring opportunities Jaja, striker 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 man, six yards out man i'm a miss edda put it over the bar star inside of the six yard box very frustrating for watch but players them just keep working hard in a practice. Right coaching them around you. We have a camera for a play my striker. We have a right back for a push him up on the wing for help out in the goal scoring department. Very versatile youngster. The best 17 year old in the country. Hands down. See the man dominate the first half today versus, uh, versus Cavaliers. Couldn't believe he's a 17 year old now. Watch on the field. Man, put the goalkeeper to work. And, and them now give him space, you know. And I like them low him and allow him to operate evenly. You know, they put tack up on him. I'm a man break go three player in between three player one time and then still get off a shot to that youth. Uh, yeah, man, go and bring him along, man. And don't make my name done in career. Because uh, some man in the, in the JPL have some bush league tackle, some wild tackle. I said, now for watch out that you, man. 17 year old, like Guile. That was a thing in a football when they call Guile. Like most of you see the Brazilian them play it with Guile. Yeah, man. Big, big baller. So again, I'm go over the score them real quick. Now the JPL. Molines knock water us off the top of the table by two goals to zero. Portmore United. One, Humble Lion, one. Mount Pleasant, one. Dumb Beholding, one. Cavaliers, one. And unfortunately, Aberview, zero. People, as soon as you come in, hit the like button. We got a special guest appearance tonight. Want to enter the show, but nah, I mean, until it reach 100 people. Get the live up to 100 people. No, sir. If the dance, the ram, and you can't get one to touch the stage. Dance now, nah, sell off. Alkaline now, nah, touch it. Cataract now, nah, perform now, nah, empty dance. Stone love now, nah, perform till the dance room. People, get the live up, get the live up. Share the live, share the live. As soon as you come in, hit the like button. Jairus, yeah, man. Thanks for joining. Big up yourself. Fibo Aris, yeah man, Cataraka Watchman, CC, Cataraka and Coach under the weather right now. Need the prayers them. Prayers and blessings. Prayer emoji as soon as they will come in. Travis, Jairus, 
Cyan, big up on yourself, thanks for joining. El Pedrino, big up yourself, thanks for joining. Light, big up, thanks for joining. Hit the like button and drop some prayer emoji. Share the live quick and fast, people. All right, I'm gonna do my thing real quick now. What's up, um, people stand by. So people hit the like button, share the live. Got a special guest, should be in the building any moment now. All Topic TV, Trevis, big up. Trevis giving a regular shout out them. Yeah man, big up on yourself. Jairus, Owen, Owen, big up again, you know. Just drop the prayer emoji them for cataract. Coach is this under the weather right now. Not feeling so well. Pick them up. And give some prayers out to everybody. From everybody in the comment section. CD now feeling so well, man. So the, the show has to go on. And that's why I'm over here making sure that the show continues. So, reggae boy today, Leon Bailey, make his long-awaited return to the English Premier League today for Aston Villa. So, we expect our special guest to join the show in a matter of moments, minutes. In the meantime, let's talk about the players who represent Jamaica that played over the weekend in the English Premier League. We must talk about Leon Bailey making his return today. After we saw Ethan Pinnock with a man of the match performance yesterday for Brentford. Antonio today, his team hung in there and fight to the end and came away with a point after they were down by two goals to one. Late, very late, but constant pressure by Antonio and the defenders for Leicester, right? Leicester them play today. Tough game for Antonio, man. But they came away with the point at the end of the day. Big up everybody for just joining and whoever just joined in, hit the like button, share the live. We got a special guest appearance tonight. We'll let you know as soon as she hit the Yeah. Big up everybody for watching. Thanks for joining coaches this tonight. Big up on the cell. Yeah man. Big thing going on. Max scored today too. Yeah, I saw that name story. Adrian Mariapa. Two in two games. It's in his last two games, two goals. 
Thanks, Travis, for the reminder. Yeah, man. Phil Jones, big up again. El Padrino, big up again. Maps not done yet. No, I'm not done yet. Still banging in the goals. Travis understands you're a Liverpool fan, but right now the world is blue. Let's keep that in mind. And not only London or Europe, now the world is blue. Yeah, man. Maps a legend, man. Warren Webster, never man, what kind of jump? <laughs> Maps are my favorite reggae boy football. Really? Alright. Yeah, man. Maps is a solid player, man. Solid player. You don't get much mix mistakes from that player, you know. Solid defender. Can also play at right back. Over the years, he has given a lot to the country. Blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> tears we got them reach. Close. No clans ten here. To the pre. <laughs> Owen, Owen, Mops says another Nations League and Gold Cup in him. You really believe that, Owen, Owen? The Nations League and Gold Cup, all right. I believe uh, certain player we may not see them back for a while after this World Cup um, window closing you know. up. Don't think you're gonna see them back if if all unless it's some coaching capacity. But Jason, as soon as the guests arrive, you just let me know. Drop it in the chat, right? That's uh, so that the guests can be introduced to the to the massive. Travis Pessoa, number 20. Jameson, yeah, man. Born at the arm of a West Malanto. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm going to find out if him am on loan or we sign him for the season. Okay. Real Bala. Yeah, Dre can't hold water. <laughs> Super Bowl coaches there, so uh, see them time. No, things are going, man. Super Bowl over there, so I will on coaches this. And I try to hold it down for the massive thing, for the surprise guest appearance tonight on the show, you know? Maps are the most loyal, in my opinion. Yeah, man, because members say, when we remember about Maps, you know, when there was a contract thing going on, Maps was there with the team and stuck it out. Yeah, man. Max, much respect go out to Maps over the years. Hector was one too, you know. Things go on. So people, tonight, as I promised, we have a special guest appearance tonight on the coach's desk for the first time. On the YouTube platform for the first time. We have none other than, none other than, Reggae Girl, Hi. Goalkeeper, World Cup, I should say, let me put some respect on that. Reggae Girls World Cup goalkeeper, 
Yasmin Jameson. Good evening, Yasmin. How are you? Thank you for I'm having me. Fine. All right, so I know the people are excited to see a reggae girl over here on the coach's desk, especially a World Cup reggae girl. So welcome to the show. I'm going to say that first and foremost. We're very optimistic to have you over here. Uh, we understand and we see that you're a very charismatic and jovial individual. So we like that personality. So, Yasmin? Yes. Or are you rather Miss Jameson? I want to keep it formal. Uh, Yasmin is good or yes. All right, then. <laughs> we'll go with that. All right, so... First of all, I want to say congratulations and be named to the Reggae Girls World Cup qualifying squad that will play two World Cup qualifiers, uh, Bermuda and Grenada in Kingston. All right. One, one, our first game's in Kingston, our second game's in Grenada. Yeah. Um, congrats on that, um, staying in the realm of things. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, introduce yourself, what club you play for, um, what college, how do you get to that? Um, and also, okay. what, what was the experience like playing in the World Cup too? Okay, uh, okay. just to start from the beginning, um, I'm Yasmin Jameson. I was born in Toronto, Canada. My father's Jamaican and my mother's Grenadian. Um, I could have played for Canada or Grenada, but I was scooped up by Coach Vin Blaine when I was 14 years old, and uh, Jamaica's just had my heart ever since then. So um, I've been playing football since I was a little girl. I also did basketball, track and field, volleyball, and um, I've played all over the world. I've played in New Zealand, I've played in Sweden, and currently I'm unattached. Um, as we know, like women's football, we don't make a lot of money. So that's why I decided not to go back to Sweden. I wasn't making enough money over there. So now I'm back just training and my co my agent's currently looking for a new club for me. And your second question was the World Cup. That was a truly honorable experience for me and for the reggae girls, especially for the girls like myself who have been in this program since we were 14 years old to now go from playing with like no uniforms and broke up shoes to now we're in the world cup in france like it was just an incredible experience and something that i'll remember th for the rest of my life okay um thanks for that and um guys in the comment section hold your questions until i open the floor or the comments for questions so hold your thought right now. I will not be reading any questions. I got my own right now. And then after that, then I can take your questions in the comment section. All right, so Yasmin, um, in five years, where do you see your time, your career? In five years, I see myself at the next Olympics, 2024. I also see myself in another World Cup. Um, I truly believe that we can qualify again for the next World Cup that's coming up. And I see myself in a very big club, just really diving into my career. And then maybe after that, I don't know, but I I'm, I know that for the next couple of years, I'm definitely focused on football. Awesome, awesome. No, also, who's your favorite player internationally, non-reggae boy or reggae girl? Oh. Favorite two players, male and female. My favorite male player would have to be Ronaldo or Iker Casillas. And my favorite female player is Karina LeBlanc. She's the, she was the goalkeeper for the Canadian women's national team and one of the few black female goalkeepers that we've ever had for Canada. That's awesome. You have a chance to meet her, I would uh, Multiple presume. times. The first time I met her, I cried. <laughs> and, um, Past reggae boy player? Who's your favorite reggae boy player of all time? Past. I mean, I wouldn't say past. My favorite reggae boy player of all time is Andre Blake. <laughs> okay, goalkeeper, which is right. <laughs> yeah. I don't really have a past favorite player, but definitely for, for a long time, it's been Andre Blake. 
Okay. And I see that you have met uh, Marta in the World yes. Cup. Is yes. that, that that's one of the, the, the most famous icons of women's soccer. Um, I'm pretty sure there are some on the U.S. team, but individual um, brilliance and uh, accolades. Martha is one of the greatest female players of all time. I saw you met her. Um, yes. She came into our, our change room after we faced Brazil, and I just thought that was such a humbling experience because I didn't even have shoes on. I was just changing after the game, and we were, like, walking around, and she just came in casually, and she was so nice. Um, I wasn't expecting her to like, you know, when you have an idol and then you see them in person, you're just expecting it to be like, but she was so humble and I just really respected that. So that was a really big moment to even get a picture with her. Yeah, I can picture that. I mean, the first time I, I'm probably going to meet Denzel, it's probably going to be walking the red carpet and I walk by him and he stopped me and say, hey, Dre, Dre. You know, I'd be a proud moment. <laughs> <Understand>. <laughs> 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 All right. So. Goals for this year, you said um, you want to be a part of the team that qualif that um, take part in the Olympic qualifying. And the uh, women, the Women's World Cup 2023. And secure, you also also secure a, a club, right? Mm -hmm. You're currently unattached, okay. Yes. All right, um, where can fans find you? You can find me on Instagram at Yasmin underscore Jameson. Uh, I think that's the most active platform I'm on. I do have a YouTube channel, but I haven't used it in a while. I'm trying to get back into YouTube because I feel like a lot of people want to see the reggae girls from behind the scenes or even just the life of a female athlete. So I really want to get back into my YouTube channel. So all of my, anywhere you guys want to find me, it's just my name, Yasmin underscore Jameson. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, favorite clubs. How about that? It's your favorite international Some club. Some people might be upset with this. But uh -oh. I'm a huge Manchester United fan. I may not feel upset. I may feel sorry for you at the moment right now. It is hard. I must be honest. Just, I do feel like when you choose a club, when you're a child, when you get into football and you pick a club, I don't think you should change. I have been loyal to them since I knew what football was, and I just feel like I can't change so even though sometimes they disappoint me and sometimes i'm like i don't want to watch football ever again i still have to support manchester united forever through and through okay you have a lot of man united fans in the comment section i know you can't see it but <laughs> they're going crazy right now because you know what too um coach's death is a man united fan fan oh that's great i know yeah. i'm in good hands yeah, he's always the um, host. This is his channel, his platform, but he's not feeling so well tonight. Um, so I was asked to take part, take over the show tonight. And of course, I'm a Chelsea fan, so we're on top right now. So it's only right that I take over the show tonight and run it right. We are champions of the world, I must say, for the 10th time tonight. I remind the world like they need reminding. But people, so the floor is open for questions now. We got um, Yasmin Jameson over here, Reggae Girl World Cup 2019 player. So it's open for questions now. In the meantime, um, I have you here, here um, your proudest moment as a youngster before you got into the Reggae Girl. Uh, I think my, I mean, I got into the Reggae Girls very young. so. My definitely my proudest moment was um, when I went to Jamaica for the first time. I think I was 14 and I was playing soccer with my Canadian club and we were facing the under 15 reggae girls, under 20 reggae girls. And Coach Vin came up to me and he's like, are you Jamaican? And I was like, yeah, like I'm Jamaican. And he's like, okay, take your Canadian jersey off and wear the Jamaica jersey and play for Jamaica against your team. And that was a huge life changing moment for me because I knew that my team would be upset, but there was just something there with Jamaica where I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. So before the match, I was supposed to play with my Canadian club and I wore the Jamaica uniform and <laughs> I beat my own team. So I feel like I was very proud of that moment. That was definitely a huge moment for myself because to even just play for a national team, I was like, I didn't even think that I would make it. So that was my, my definitely my proudest moment as a child. 
Okay. Um, how about this? What inspired you to start playing football? That's a question from the chat section. Uh, my mom put me in ballet and it was too slow. I didn't like it. And I kept getting into trouble from the teacher. So my mom was like, she needs to be in something more active. So she tried to put me in basketball, but I didn't really like click to basketball like that. So then she put me into soccer and I was like, okay. And I was a striker. I was a striker up until I was 17. Keeping at that age is like, <laughs> it's very late. So when I was switched into a, as a goalkeeper, I didn't really like it. And I didn't want to play football anymore. I was like, I hate goalie. This is the worst position. It's boring. But um, as time went on, I realized that football opens doors. You can get an education. You can travel the world. You can meet new people. So I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a try. And that's when I really got into football, when I realized all the opportunities that it can come with. Okay, awesome. That's good. Um, so the first time you got the call from for Jamaica, how old were you for the senior team that is how old were you and um what was it like playing your first game for jamaica did you debut in the first time you get a call my first, or? my first call for the senior team i was 19 i just turned 19 years old um and it was a very quick transition because i had just finished the world cup qualifiers for the under 20 team and because I was 19, they were like, we have another tournament. We have the second world, we have another World Cup qualifiers for the senior girls. Would you like to play with them? And I was scared. I was like, these are some big grown women and I'm 19 years old and I'm coming in and we have like, for example, I've known Trudy for a very long time. And I'm like, I'm gonna be playing with Trudy. Like I can't come up here and play with these girls. But when we went to Haiti and I came into the squad, I didn't even think I was going to play. And I ended up starting the first two matches of the World Cup campaign, which eventually led to us going to the Women's World Cup in France. So I never thought at 19 years old, me going to Haiti and playing these World Cup matches would be the start to our World Cup journey to make history for Jamaica. Never thought that. I was just scared and I was like, okay, like I'll take this opportunity. I'll try my best. And it, and it worked out. Okay, so choosing Jamaica over Canada, that was a life-changing decision, <laughs> of course. And then um, one question is, how has representing Jamaica impact your life? I would say that it's, and I mean, this is something that I've definitely struggled with a lot is what is my identity outside of football? What is my identity outside of the reggae girls? Because I feel like, playing for Jamaica has been such a core part of who I am. So I would just say that it's it's just changed my life. It's just something that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. And I want to be able to give back to the young reggae girls out there when I retire from football and be able to help us able to build programs in Jamaica so that young girls can also have the opportunity to play football, travel, get an education. Um, so I would definitely say that playing for the regular girls is just a life-changing experience. Okay, so this this question is, uh, <laughs> all right, so to improve Jamaica, what do you see that needs improvement in the program for the females in Jamaica? I think that when people look at the reggae girls, they see a lot of people didn't really know who we are, who we were. So when they see it, when they see it at us at the World Cup, they just see the success. But what people forget is that to be a good football player, you have to be invested in and developed from a young age. So in order to develop a women's game, I feel like we need to put money into the grassroots programs in Jamaica. There are a lot of young girls out there out there. For example, Bunny didn't just come out of thin air. Bunny was out here playing in Jamaica from since she was a little girl. But I know that there's other bunnies in Jamaica that aren't being given the opportunity. They're not getting the funding. So I feel like in order for women's football to succeed in Jamaica and to continue to succeed, we need to put money in starting from the grassroots and going all the way up. Then when we get to the top, we have to start paying our players money that we can survive off of. Because as a female football player, 
I've gone to practice and then I've also worked in a kitchen because my salary isn't enough. So I feel like for us to take this career seriously, for it to be an actual option for a lot of women, we need to be paid more. There's players that get $400,000 a week in the men's league. For women, the average salary could be $22,000 a year. I've been offered $200 a month. I can't do anything with that besides buy groceries. So that's another reason why, like, for example, I want to play soccer right now, but I can't because I can't go to Sweden and make $200 a month. So if you want women's football to develop, you have to pay players a salary that we can survive off of. And that's the only way it's going to get better. So so you're saying um, with your resume, you're not getting the offers that are matching up because of the lack of respect for the women's football. I mean, I have a very good CV and I do have a lot of offers, but it's not, it's very rare to make anything over $50,000 a year. So for me, I, I'm educated. I graduated from university in communications and media studies with a double minor in African studies and anthropology. And I know I can make a lot more money with my degree than I can with playing football. So for me, the reason why I've been a little bit picky is just because I'm like, why am I going to sign for a club where I'm, I could work at McDonald's and probably make more. Yeah. yeah. So the re- I, I feel like being unattached is not necessarily a choice, but it's more so not jumping into opportunity just because it's the first thing that was thrown at you. I was offered a lot of opportunities for the January window, but they just weren't a good fit. I had to okay. that. that. Like, Let me stick a bit right here. That's an education uh, topic for a lot of players, even male players that's playing in the Jamaican Premier League right now. So mm-hmm. please remind them again. Please don't jump at that opportunity that comes if you believe in your talent. Yeah. The first you cannot jump at the first thing that comes because it's an opportunity. If you believe you're talented enough, talented enough, then you should nitpick and get the and wait it out for the best opportunity that will be able to better you financially and career wise. Uh, if you can continue where you were left, uh, if you remember. Yeah. So essentially, I was just saying, like, just because the opportunity is there doesn't mean it's necessarily the right fit for you. Um, One thing that I will go back on is that for female athletes, get your education. That should be the priority. When I was in the World Cup, I was still in school. A lot of people were telling me, oh, drop out of school. Go focus on soccer. This is like a huge moment. But at the end of the day, if I break my legs tomorrow, I will still have my education to fall back on. So for men's soccer players, there's a lot more opportunities and you're going to get a lot more money. But for a female athlete, if I get injured tomorrow, I'm not going to have anything in my pocket. So I just want to encourage young women before you even think about getting into to football, make sure that you get your education or use football to get an education before you continue on with that. Hear that, people? All right. Um... What is the mood like? All right, Doc Lang Stennett asking, what is the mood like um, in the squad? So when you are among the reggae girls, you were in um, included in the Costa Rica team, right? the team that played Costa Rica and the two friendly internationals, right? And that's the last squad that was called up for the reggae girls. Um, what has the mood been like in the camp? I feel like our coaches do a great job in selecting well-rounded players. They don't just look at players that are good on the field because if you're Ronaldo on the field, but then you have a terrible attitude off the field, I don't think that you would really gel with the team. So I think our team is very family oriented. Um, The people that have come in after a week, they're like my sisters. So a lot of the girls I've known for years and then some girls I only met a few months ago and it all feels the same. Um, we're always very high energy. We're known for always, I'm, everyone calls me DJ Jameson because I'm always the one that's blasting music. Everyone's like, yeah, it's like put this on, put that on. I'm always constantly playing music. So I feel like we just have good energy with the team and everyone brings something to the table. There's the funny people, there's the quiet people, there's the people you go to for advice. And that's one thing that I really appreciate with the girls. The older players help the younger players. I'm only 23. And sometimes I'm a little, I feel a little unsure about my career or where I, what I, I should do. Go and talk to Chinelu. I can talk to Trudy and be like, hey, like, 
like how do I get a club how do I do this and they'll they'll help me they'll talk to me they talk to the younger players or if you ever feel down you could talk to anybody and anyone everyone will always be there for you so it's definitely a very family oriented uh vibe yeah I see uh very charismatic when you're in the camp <laughs> I can <laughs> see that and you bring a vibes to the camp um coach for the Do I remember coming to play at San Jacks? That name sounds very familiar. <laughs> in in I, League One. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, in in league. he's in Canada. Yeah, I currently play in League One. I uh, played League One for um, Woodbridge. And then, yeah, I think I I think I faced San Jacks before. I think I do remember that. It was a long time ago, though. That That's um, Coach Devin Porter. He's over there in Canada, too. So he knows a lot I'm about write his name down because I, I want to remember this. <laughs> yeah. Devon Porter. I can give it to you later too, if you ever get it. Um, so let's see if we have any more questions. Okay, so they heard you mention music and playlists. Um, what are some of the art who are some of the artists in your playlist? Okay, I'm very like old school dance hall. So I love sure. Beanie Man. Everyone knows the day I meet Beanie Man, I will cry. And I need Beanie Man to know that he needs to come to one of my matches so that I can meet him. Uh, I love Shansia, Drake from Toronto. So, you know, you have to love Drake. Um, Barris Hammond. Uh, yeah, those are like my mains so far. Those are like the main that I listen to. I listen to a lot of 90s dance hall music. Okay, so a lot of people just joining in. Um, so we got this question again. Um, Yasmin, who is your favorite female player of all time? My favorite female player of all time is Karina LeBlanc. And the reason why I say this, and people always question that, is not, for me, I look at the whole person it's not just what about it's not just about what she did while she was an athlete it's about what she does for football and what she does for young black girls because as a as a female in canada you don't really see like black professional athletes so when i saw her play i was like if she can do that if this this woman can come and play football i could do it too so i feel like it's important for young black girls to use their platform so that other other kids come to us. So I feel like that's why um, Karina LeBlanc is my favorite player. Um, one of the commenters, or a couple of the commenters are saying, um, if, if you don't have any alkaline in your playlist. I do, and Jody Brown, she always like, Alka, Alka, play alkaline. And I do like alkaline, but <laughs> he's not my top. Like, I'll listen to him. Oh. <laughs> I do have a lot of alkaline in my playlist, but just not my top, top, top tracks like a lot of vibes said beanie man and the girls them sugar cc sports lab big up owen owen said beanie man need to link up yeah because um this is going to be out there on the youtube platform so if they were to watch it over then they'll see definitely that um the comments that you said and we always have it open and also, the stadium is open for 2,500 fans. What do you think about that now? Do you think it, it should be more or 25 is accurate, uh, uh, adequate to start with? Or how do you see that? I mean, the fans are the 12th man on the field. So I feel like as many fans that we can have, the better. I'm grateful that the government has allowed us to have the 2,500, but I would prefer um, a lot more people to come out because it actually does make a difference. And I also want the girls, like, especially the UK players in Jamaica, I want them to experience the love that the that Jamaica, like, their first experience in Jamaica shouldn't be with just 2,500 people. It should be the full support that we would normally get, especially because we're coming off of a World Cup. I feel like that would just be an ex insane experience. Um, have you got a chance yet to see the full 23-player squad and see who is who is there and who is not and yeah yes they posted the squad a couple days ago um i wasn't really sure who was going to be on the squad i know that they spoke to us individually and we've had a couple meetings with the pool of players but i i, I didn't know who was going to be on the squad until they released it to the public 
Okay, then. Awesome. Uh, so, let me just say a number of players that were in the Costa Rica squad that we thought would have been included in the World Cup qualifying squad. They are not there right now. Um, some documental issues that need to be processed. That's why they're not there. But one such player, um, apart from you, <laughs> there's a player that she she practiced. You practice with her and also probably played in the Costa Rica practice game with her. Tell us a little about um, Drew Spence. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, in terms of a soccer perspective, I was very impressed with Drew. I like when you can look at a player on the field and you can see that they're already looking at three different options. She, I can see when she has the ball that she's already like, okay, if I pass here, I could pass here, I could pass there. And she's very, I like the professionalism that she brings to the team. Um, when she, as soon as she steps over that line, she's in it. She's in football, and that's what she's there for. And I love that energy. Um, the whole team are always very like goofy and joyous in the team room. But as soon as we step over that line, then we're ready to go into practice. Like we're on. So with Drew, I feel like she brings a level of professionalism and experience to the team that we that we need and we need to continue to improve on. Um, and I just I think she's a very great player, and I think that she's a great addition to our team. Awesome. Good. Um, that's what I saw in the little I saw um, of her in that um, Costa Rica game inside the Inter Miami Stadium. Mm -hmm. um, so this other question: What do you know about Coach Blaine? And um, yes, she did. He did coach her before. Remember, she went to the World Cup with the Jamaica team in 2019. Um, so, people, no more questions for Miss Yasmin Jameson over here. Not seeing any questions coming in um, of my own. Also, apart from football, what do you do outside of football right now? Is there any organizations? Is there anything that you got going on that you would like to bring to the public attention? I mean, this is another thing that people don't know about like women's sports, even sports in general, it's very hard to kind of plan your life outside of football because I've had a call, for example, last week where my agent called me on Monday. He's like, can you get on a plane on Wednesday? And I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean? I'm like, I, so it's very hard to just do other things outside of football when you're not necessarily in a club. But for me personally, I love to draw. Um, I do a lot of art. I play four instruments. I play the violin, the cello, the drums, and the piano. And um, yeah, I'm working on uh, my YouTube channel <laughs> and uh, just maybe a little side hustle, but that's about it. More, more times it's just like a waiting period where, where I'm just waiting to start playing football again. Um, so Jamaican food. I, hear, I see a Jamaican over here. So what's your favorite Jamaican food? I love these bees and I think those are my main two. But definitely when I get to Jamaica on Monday, Tasty's is the first place that I'm going. <laughs> okay, so we saw your relationship on social media with Lauren. You guys were close at the World Cup and stuff. So uh, a lot of people asking, a few, not a lot, but a few asking, Ask her about Lauren Silver. Ask her about Lo Silver. Ask her. So, um, so she's also a free agent right now. Mm -hmm. When the last time have you spoken to her and how's she doing? I think I spoke to Lauren in December. Um, she's doing very well. I think Lauren is a prime example of what women have to do in regards to football, which is always find a side hustle or another source of income. I think she's realized that um, Lauren and I are very similar in terms of we're both into the media and communications. So that's what I studied in school. And I actually worked for Lauren at a point for her company because we're in the same lines of work. Um, and Lauren is definitely a prime example of how women literally have to find another job so that you can make enough money to sustain yourself. So that's another reason why I feel like currently she's not really in football. She's not retired, but she's definitely working on her own career and something that's going to give her financial stability. All right. Um, so they want you to 
drop your YouTube channel. We can do that at the end where I can pin the YouTube channel and they can click on it and you can get that up and active again. <laughs> yes, I'm working on it. You're going to gain some subscribers from tonight's show. I'm pretty sure about that. I can guarantee that. Um, so Everton Jackson, read that comment on the screen there if you can. Does Yasmin think qualifying this time for the 2023 World Cup will be tougher than 2019? I don't think so because in 2019, I would say almost half of us were in university. I would say less than 20% of the team were even playing professionally. So the fact that we were able to come together in 2019 just based off of raw talent, just based off of just desire and grit, um, now that a lot of us that were in that who were in that 2019 squad are older and we've played in those professional environments we've only improved from the last world cup i don't think uh qualifying for the world cup is like obviously it's our first goal but now i'm like we should be going to the world cup consecutively it shouldn't be a surprise anymore for the world to be like oh jamaica's going to the world cup it should just be like Canada going to the World Cup, the U.S. going to the World Cup. I want Jamaica to continuously be going to the World Cup and it not be a surprise. Um, major the majority of our players are professional now, so I feel like we have a very good squad. It just comes down to the preparation. You could have the best team in the world, but if we don't have camps, we don't have resources, we have contract issues, whatever, it's not going to work out. So I really think it's not really about the players and the quality of the players. It's just about all the other things that we need to support us in order to get to that next step, in order to get to the World Cup. I, I think it should be easy if everything else is organized and we have that support, then we're going to go to the World Cup for, no, for, uh, for sure. I like your knowledge and reasoning. I see you and the staff uh, probably the um, running the part of the executive committee in the JFF in the future. <laughs> yeah, that's something to look into. Um, so Warren Webster says, um, Christine Sinclair is a top goal scorer as a Canadian. What is, is there any similarity between her and Bunny Shaw's game? Are you familiar with that Christine Sinclair? Of course, of course. Legend. <laughs> a legend. Um, I mean, they both bust net and they both score bear goals. So I would say that that's a similarity between them. I think that they have very different styles of play. Um, one thing that I do respect about Christine Sinclair is a lot of people are like, oh, she's older. She shouldn't be playing anymore. But she learned to adjust the sport to her age and her physicality. So that's why her career has had longevity. Um, and I see the same thing with Bunny. Bunny's very young. She's just starting out. And I see her career being very long because the transition of Bunny being 16 years old and scoring to now, it's just like you can see the growth. So I feel like between Christine and Sinclair and Bunny, you're, it's going to be a very long career, a very successful career for the both of them. True. Um, Say, so someone asking about your workout routine. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> is that you're trying to keep fit or preparing for the upcoming game. So um, you posted a workout recently. So they're saying, is that on a regular basis? So you um, keep working out like that or it's just because you got called up, you're preparing for the upcoming. Is that a regular workout routine for you? It's definitely regular because if I don't work out, I will <laughs> gain weight very quickly and I like the yam food. So I feel like uh, just, for me, it's also um, a mental thing. If you, whenever I work out, it just helps me feel better overall. You get the endorphins, you feel happier, and it just helps keep me in a routine. Um, the intensity of my workouts will change depending on if I have a camp or if I'm going to place, uh, going to going to go to a club. But usually, it's um, it's pretty consistent. Okay, awesome. Um, so, how often you uh, visit Jamaica? Anytime we have camps to go to Jamaica, I will go. But okay. for vacation, you, I've never, yeah, I've that's never what been I'm to Jamaica have. for vacation, which is really unfortunate. I've never had the opportunity to go to Jamaica for vacation. Um, it just always comes down to finances. But the day that I have extra money lying around, that will definitely be my first trip. 
Yeah, because there was a question that said, um, best place in Jamaica to visit and whole of vibes for you. But um, um, I'm guessing that when you're in camp, you have to be in a disciplined mindset and can't be out partying or going outside. Perfect. Exactly. Of I've, I've never experienced a party life in Jamaica. That's one thing I, I really want to experience. Okay. Um, so Fresh God has a question on the screen right there. What is your greatest at what is your greatest attributes been as a goalkeeper? Um, I think because I played striker for so long, I got really good with my feet. Um, my coach at Unionville was always like, Yeah, it's like you're so good with your feet, it's gonna transition into the net, goalkeeping is evolving, this is gonna be a good skill. So I feel like my ability to be calm on the ball, um, my my backline just trusting me with my feet. I almost feel like I play as a sleeper keeper. I like to play very high up just because I'm comfortable with transitioning from uh, switching the field. Um, so I definitely say my biggest strength is my feet. All right, that's good. So we know you gotta prepare, you gotta fly tomorrow, tomorrow, right? Yes, it's 9.30, so my flight's 9.30 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, so in 12, uh, 12 hours, gotta be on the plane heading down um any more comments any more questions in the comment section a very informative educated charismatic yasmin jameson over here um you need to tell the girls it's okay to come on the youtube platform this is where they'll be able to interact more with the fans and um, they can't wait for the um, mainstream media to to bring that interview opportunity to them because the fans out there, they're the 12th man and these YouTube, they can rewatch them. And this is where the click of a finger and also they get a notification once these YouTube channels have a video posted. And these are a very, very big platform that's um, up to date with the Jamaican community and the football community. And we want to support the reggae girls and um, support them going forward some of the some of the fans need to get to know them and know their Jamaican roots and all that and know them a little bit more. Um, so just spread the word to them. Tell them reach out to me, reach out to Gunner, reach out to um, Talawa TV. Um, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with Talawa TV, right? Yeah. Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Reach out to her. Um, get things going because it's it. This is the beginning again for another World Cup campaign for the girls, and this is where it starts on the 17th. So whether it be after practice or stuff leading up to the game, just let them know how to reach me or reach the rest of the YouTube channels platform. They can reach me, communicate with me, and then I'll communicate with the other um, YouTube as the in-between with the media, the social media right now. Um, so they are saying we're happy to hear from you, happy to have you, a lot of eyes and everything and all that. So they're very happy to have you again over here. Is there anything you want to say before you go? Any shout outs? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm just grateful for everybody that came on to this live. Um, I'm usually, I shouldn't be surprised, but I always am surprised, especially when men are showing the support in women's football because they're there and they don't believe that women should be playing sports. So when I see men genuinely supporting women's football, like not, uh, fetishizing the players, but actually respecting the talent on the field. I really appreciate that. So everybody here in this live, I really appreciate the support. And I hope that you guys continue to support um, the Reggae Girls for our World Cup campaign. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. You're welcome. Um, you can click the lead button at any chance or any point. Yeah. Okay, bye. All right. <laughs> Yes, people, there you have it. Our special guest, Miss Yaz. That's the Reggae Girls of 2019. Neo, I never see you asking no questions, Neo. I was looking forward to one of your questions. And were you just joining the show? Devon Porter, I see questions coming in, but she's gone now. The show is over. Um, 
Jason, it's 9.35. Guys, big up on yourself. Watch the last quarter of the Super Bowl here. Thanks for being over here. Leon Bailey made his return to the EPL, English Premier League today. Um, Open the floor for five minutes. See um, any questions coming in. Warren Webster, certainly a wonderful treat. Yeah, man. Tell us a lot of surprise guests over here. More to come, man. Games coming up. This is the beginning of the World Cup campaign. You know, big up coaches. This, if you just join in, um, coach not feeling so good. So I'm hosting it tonight here. I'm just um, give some prayer hands um, for the coach and also Tatarak. I'm tuning in, but still need some prayers. Um, so people, Claudia, so you wasn't rough. <laughs> Claudia Edges. One view. You're still fuming from the Arbor View loss today. Very tough heartbreak. Another last 10 minutes team score on us, man. Tough one today for us to swallow. Tough pill. I mean, let's see. I'll be a chubby yag one with another comment. Why J. Ross has said them things? Them? Mr. J. Ross had a, a bag of things. What go on? What I miss? See, the comment was very festive. Neo, watch it, what man? Yeah, man. Big things, big moves. You want to see Ravel? Right now, it's about the ladies and the 12th man. Ladies need our support. Young star played good today for Arborview. Well, the team played good defensively. Um, overall, they held it down. Um, attack wise they created chances goalkeeper was put to test on a few occasions by the young 17 year old playing out of his position today they're trying to move him around because we got that youngster um O'Shane staple have another solid game at right back so we have to move the youngster around to get him time on the park and to get him in a starting position because defensively we have been playing good for the start of the season we're just not knocking the back of the net with our chances that we created but it is what it is we fight we keep fighting keep building and we pick ourselves up from this uh, yet another heartbreaker for one zero loss one zero to mount mount pleasant 1-0 again today to Cavaliers. But uh, it wasn't so much about the performance. Um, it was the finishing. We lack uh, a striker that can put the ball in the back of the net. Um, Scott is not it for me right now. He needs to come off the bench, but Lewis also is not it for me right now neither. So we're hurting from the loss of Kwesa Chang. But we, we, like I said, we're going to pick it up and move on and get better as the season goes along. I think we dropped the mid-table right now. But that's it. We're going to move on. So Coach Devon did coach Yasmin Jamison uh, before she came into the national setup. So credit to Coach Devon too. All right, so people, it's about style and flavor time. Super Bowl have a finish up. Until next time, you know, big up on yourself. You know, thanks for taking time out on the day and joining us. Um, also, when I big up, Richard's Roots. Yeah, man. Big Spanta. Richard's Roots.
big up our sponsors. Your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that. <laughs>